Hello, this is Toby and I'm here to present Celtic Mythology. What a great morning! It is wonderful. Oops, got to go to the bathroom. Uh, get off me, get off me! Where is my heart? Before we start, let me announce that our new children's book, Meet the Olympians, is out. It is a collection of fine limericks introducing Greek gods and their roles, accompanied by some nice illustrations on each page. The book is live on Amazon along with its coloring book. You may check the book through the links on the description below. Contact details are also available if you have any animation or illustration projects. Now let's get on with our show. What is Celtic mythology? That is probably the first question you should ask. Celtic mythology refers to the stories and myths of the Celtic peoples that started circulating somewhere around 1200 BCE. The territories that the Celts lived in consisted mostly of Ireland and England, although it could be expanded across Europe in some periods too. The Celtic stories were rather similar to Greek myth in a way that they also had many gods and goddesses. However, the elements of the supernatural cannot be confided to just that. With arrival of Christianity, many of the Celtic stories were forgotten or assimilated. There were, however, still some manuscripts containing lots of great myths and legends. Let's start with one of the myths. It is a flood story, which in a way explains the origin of humanity. Many ages ago, there was a great flood. Ireland survives the flood, and after that the island is occupied by the Fomorian race. They are dark beings predating gods similar to the titans in Greek mythology. The Fomorians then were defeated by Tuatha de Danann, supernatural beings with magical power. The Tuatha de Danans were themselves defeated later by another group of beings called the Milesians. The Tuatha de Danans then were forced to live in the ground while the Milesians occupy the land above the earth. The Milesians can be considered the final human inhabitants of Ireland. One of the most famous to utter the Danans gods was Dagda. Dagda's name means the good god or the great god. He was associated with fertility, masculine strength, and wisdom. He had a magical cauldron that was always filled with good stuff and was never emptied. He also had a magical harp that could play three major tunes. A tune that would make everyone fall asleep, a tune to cause uncontrollable laughter, and a tune to cause extreme sadness and grief. Another interesting character in Celtic mythology is Cuculain, a hero and demigod of Ulster family lineage. Cuculain had a miraculous and rather complicated birth. His birth name was Sutanta. He is known for his strength and his skills with weapons. He also had a moral character that makes him do crazy things. Once he killed the guard dog in self-defense, and since the city had lost its protection, he volunteered to take the dog's place until the city could train a new dog. Hey you, Mr. Dog! What city is this? You better get lost, young boy. How dare you! Hey, how dare you kill our dog? He was protecting our city. Oops, sorry about that. Well, now you have to guard the city instead. Pff, all right. Oh, 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 oh. Quiet. Sorry, can I have a bone to play with? He was a very honorable hero, and that is how he was defeated. The story is that since he could not be defeated by sheer force, his enemies devised a plan to target his honor and kill him. They knew that Kukulen had vowed not to eat dog meat. <laughs> Violating his vow, he would die. So the enemies had an old lady invite Kukulen to a meal. The old lady then presents him with dog meat to eat. Kukulen is unable to refuse it because of his honor and because he doesn't want to violate the old woman's hospitality. So he eats the dark meat and this weakens his strength. He is then killed by a guy named Luke Gate, who wounds him with a magical sword. And that is how he meets his end. 
Yeah, he has dark fruit. I made for, for you, specially for you. It is a really delicious. Oh, uh, sorry, I can't. Why? Uh, I'm not allowed to. You don't like my cooking. <laughs> is that it? No, no, your, your dish is really delicious. It is, it is also. Yes, it is. You don't like it. All right, all right. Sorry, I will eat. Good. Now, the next hero I want to introduce is Lou. It was the Danon hero. One famous story recounts how he came to join the Tuatha the Danon army. When he is at the door, the gatekeeper does not allow him to enter unless he demonstrates a unique skill. Lou describes his abilities one by one, but the gatekeeper shuts him down, and all the time he says they already have the people with these skills. Or stop! Who approaches? I need a job in the army. Oh yeah? What are your skills? I'm a good salesman. We have plenty. We don't need anyone. A blacksmith. No need it. Craftsman. Nope. Poet. Nope. Writer. Nope. Musician. Nope. Doorkeeper. Nope. Programmer. Nope. Con nope. I haven't said it yet. Nope, nope, nope. Uh, nope. How about one person with all these skills? <laughs> Finally, the doorkeeper lets him in when he finds out he has all the skills at once. Nope. Now, just like Dagda and his cauldron, Lu also possesses an object with supernatural powers. It is known as the Spear of Lu. This spear was alive and bloodthirsty. It could also be ignited into fire, so they had to keep its tip in water. Let's finish our lecture with a talk on the Shidi, or the people of the mounds. These otherworldly beings are descendants of the Tuatha de Danon that were banished by the Milesians. The people believed the Shidi to be vengeful and protectors of their own living place, so they would try to appease them when they would go to a certain wood, lake or hill or just avoid going there. There were some Gaelic festivals attributed to them too. Shoots? <laughs> what was that? Oh yes, an apple fall. So there is gravity. No, it is just me telling you to get lost. Now. That's the end of our lecture. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave your comments. And check out the description for extra details. Until the next lecture, goodbye.